file of Ize Iyamo's labored case against PDP chieftain to be quarantined for 14 days. Hello, my wonderful people. Wonders they say will never end. So the file of Ize Iyamo uh, that he has filed against, the case he has filed against PDP, has to be quarantined for 14 days before anything is done. Anyway, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get straight into the news and get all the details. We truly, really appreciate you. God bless you. Edo State High Court sitting in Benin City on Thursday ordered that the file for a case for alleged deformation instituted by the former global national candidate of the All Progressive Congress APC in the state, Pastor Osage Ize Iyamu, against a member of the People Democratic Party PDP, Rita Edubo, be quarantined for 14 days. The judge said the order was in line with COVID-19 protocol before the case could be heard. The preceding judge, Justice L.J. Achi noted that the case was formally filed on 16th February 2021 by counsel to the claimant Matthew Mago. He therefore ordered that the case file be quarantined for 14 days before it can be heard. In suit number B-488-2020 between Pastor Sage Ize Iyamu and Rita Egubo, the claimant, among others, is demanding for 500 million as damage over alleged liberal fabrication publication against his person said to have been published on 19th 7th 2020 by the defendant on facebook and other social media on facebook and other social media platform clement also warned a declaration by the court that the statement published on social media platform, specifically Facebook, among other groups, was maliciously defamatory and bring him to the hate, ridiculous, and public domain to ridicule Pastor Sage Ize Iyamu. He equally sought an order of the court directing the defendant to publish an apology, formal letter of apology, and a retrogression of the posted post on the various social media platforms should be removed immediately. However, counsel to the defendant, Matthew or more away in his earlier response said the alleged liberal claim against his client by Ize Iyamu was misleading, malicious and gold digging. He added that his client was never the author of the said publication as such was circulating globally on Facebook and other social media. My client's page also was one of the pages that this was posted on. She was never the person who started the post in any way. So this is what is going on. Ize Yamu is asking that um, he be paid 500 million for deformation of character. The uh, person the case is against is a PDP person. And so Ize Yamu said he wants 500 million. Uh, apparently, they posted something, according to him, that is character deformatory. And as such, he wants recompensation for what the person has done. But I just have one question for Ize Iyamu. In 2016, uh, Governor Gordon Obaseki, he, he did not just deform your character, he ended your career. What he did was unforgivable. I mean something has to be done in some way or the other he has to pay for it if for nothing an apology okay if for nothing if for nothing a statement clearing your name that what he said he said it out of a b c d z because in 20 in 2016 when the first election between ize iyamu on the baseki started oshomole said no small words he said everything that can be said under the sun of the other under the sun to deform a man's character. And guess what? Nobody, Ize Iyamu, did not put a court injunction saying what he has said against him was the lies and all that, which apparently affected Ize Iyamu's 2020 chances. 
I say chances because until the case was the until INEC called out the proceedings, it was a game for anybody. Okay, anybody could have won that election. But the words that have gone out, you've forgotten that words have weight. That words that have gone out to retrieve them is difficult. It's like eggs. When you smash it on a wall, you cannot pick back that egg together again. That's exactly how the best way possible I can describe words. I never saw you put a court injunction against Oshomole. In fact, you went on with business as usual as if nothing happened. 2020, he became your best of buddies. He was the one, you know, saying then that he was selling Toyota. And now, I mean, what Oshomole did is a crime. Because it puts you in a bad light, even to the people. You tried your hardest best possible in 2020 to get elected as the governor of Edo State. But words have already gone out. Do you remember the song Oshomole composed for uh, Obaseki? Say Obaseki, you are go what God says you are. You are a winner, you are not a loser. So if you are to contest with Obaseki, with Oshomole's song, I don't think you will stand a chance. Maybe with some other persons, yes, but with Obaseki, the words that Oshomole has already put in place, in fact, the way he labored you, that is your first court case. That is the very first place you should begin anything called court injunction from. Not an innocent, I don't know what this woman has done, so I will not say innocent. I beg your pardon. Okay? Not some woman who you said deformed your character in A, B, C, D, Z way. The character deformation is a crime. And your name has to be cleared. So you don't sit back and allow anybody talk about you, especially if the words are not true. What you are doing now is what you should have done in 2016. By 2020, when Oshoi Mamele wants to market you, he will say to everybody, remember that he took me to court saying that what I said was wrong. That is to tell you that he's a man of integrity. Do you get what I'm trying? I'm just trying to paint a picture here. I know that you have a court case now against this woman. She has tried to deform your character. However, you have not done it well. You start cleaning the house from where it's most important. So by the time you get to the less clean places, you have, you've not exhausted your strength in doing what is minor. You do the major first, then the minor can come later. Guys, leave us a comment. God bless you. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.